watching Good Morning San Diego. Well, you've heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. What about eating strawberries every day? Pam Maher of the Salt in- uh, Institute is here to explain the amazing benefits of strawberries. And good morning to you, first of all. Okay, now, you're a scientist, and yes. you didn't go, you didn't start this by, gee, I'm going to take a strawberry and study it. So how did all this thing get started, first well, of all? Well, we, we started uh, studying a, a compound that's, that uh, turned out to be found in strawberries at, at least. It's a natural product called fisetin. And we were first interested um, in finding, studying um, its neuroprotective properties. And we started out studies on very simple um, models. And then we moved into animals. And uh, about a year ago, we showed in a study on on Huntington's disease that uh, using this compound, fisetin, was able to uh, slow down the uh, loss of motor function and increase lifespan in a mouse, a mouse model of Huntington's disease. And based on that study and some other studies, we reasoned that it also might be effective against uh, the complications of diabetes. Mm-hmm. And um, the complications of diabetes, so we tested it in a, a mouse model, again, of type 1 or, or childhood onset diabetes. And we, it doesn't prevent the, the increase in blood glucose, which is the first thing that happens in diabetes. But what it does prevent is some of, and quite dramatically in the mouse model, um, some of the complications of diabetes, uh, such as kidney disease. Yeah. Now, for years, we've known strawberries are good for you. They're fruit. Eat, eat strawberries. But yes. what are you suggesting here, that, that we eat more strawberries? Well, and what exactly, besides diabetes, it goes beyond that too, right? Yes. Um, well, as I mentioned, we found that it worked in a, in a model of Huntington's yeah. disease. Um, and we we're, we're currently testing it in some several models of other neurodegenerative diseases where it's it's starting it looks like it shows some promise mm-hmm. um, and other studies um, by different groups have suggested it might be effective against certain forms of, of cancer as well okay now it's not just one strawberry one strawberry a day is not going to do much no what? um well, we estimated that to get the equivalent of the dose that we gave dose that we gave mice for the mm-hmm. diabetes study, that you would need to eat about 37 and that's, strawberries. We're, a day. we're guessing this is about 37. Yeah, and it would right be 37 here. strawberries of that size, so fairly large size strawberries. And is, does that guarantee anything no, for a person? No, we don't. Since in our studies, we actually use the purified compound that we put into the food of of, of the mice. Sure. Um, we don't know. Uh, Exactly. If if you eat that many strawberries, even though um, by calculations they would have that much of the compound, whether you would actually get that much in, in your system. Well, you're in the right part of the country to eat this many strawberries, right? Because yes, <laughs> California produces something like um, almost 90 percent of the strawberries mm-hmm. that are consumed in this country, and it's it's um, the perfect place to, to it is the perfect place. be able to get strawberries. And if you love strawberries, why not, right? Yes. It's, it's, yes. With those health benefits. Where are you taking this next? Well, uh, two places. Uh, well, in several directions. One is that, um, as I mentioned, we tested these in a model of type 1 diabetes. The major uh, form of diabetes is actually type 2 and what was called adult onset, although, as you probably know, it's shifting back yeah. to p- younger and younger people. Mm-hmm. There are mouse models of type 2 diabetes, and we really need to, to test fisetin in those. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is to um, pursue further studies where we might be able to, that would make this ready to um, take into perhaps into clinical trials. Yeah. Very encouraging news for diabetics, I would think. Um, yes, because the, the complications are really mm-hmm. what um, cause the, the impact on their um, the quality of life. Yeah. And if you could reduce that, then um, you'd reduce a lot of the, the problem, the so sickness and death that's yeah, associated with absolutely. diabetes. Pam Meyer, thank you very much. And okay, well, thank I'm you. I'm going to start eating more strawberries okay, for sure. Okay, great. Okay, thank you.